Coronavirus numbers keep climbing in Virginia. State reported another jump in cases and hospitalizations today. There are almost 2,400 new infections. That's 200 more than yesterday. 971 people are in the hospital. Now the state is stepping up efforts to slow the spread. We have team coverage tonight. Angelique Aaron talk tells us what some cities in Hampton Roads are doing to encourage employees to get vaccinated. But we start with Sarah Hammond, who's following a reversal from two local school divisions. She tells us where students now need to mask up this fall. After days of heated school board meetings. Last time I checked, my parenting agreement did not list the school board as co-parents of my children. I find it disgusting that you were willing to put kids in danger just so you don't have to wear a tiny piece of fabric on your face. And passionate pleas from both sides of the mask argument. It's his body. I'm his parent. I get to choose what goes on him. These people are saying they are fine with kids contracting COVID because they will be mostly okay. Virginia's health commissioner has now ordered mandatory masking in all K through 12 schools, both public and private. And now two Hampton Road schools are forced to reverse their decisions. Well, the school board made the decision back in June to make mask wearing optional in the absence of any mandates. Thursday afternoon, both Chesapeake Public Schools and the York County School Division announced they will fall in line with the new order and require masks for students and staff. That order states you can only take off the mask if you're outside, eating, drinking, or sleeping, exercising, playing a wind instrument in a music class, performing a religious ritual which can't be done in a mask, having trouble breathing or are unconscious, or if wearing a mask puts you at risk because of a disability or health condition and people can request medical or religious exemptions. This decision comes as children under 12 are still not eligible for the vaccine. However, last week, Governor Ralph Northam said that could be coming soon. I'm hopeful that this will come this fall just in the next few weeks. And the order will stay in place until the CDC updates its guidelines on K through 12 schools or until state leaders rescind the order. For 13 News Now, I'm Sarah Hammond. The York County School Division said in a statement, quote, after consulting with the division's legal counsel, we have been advised that the commissioner's order supersedes any local action. A Chesapeake Public Schools spokesperson says they know this has caused disagreements, but they appreciate your understanding.